Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I asked you guys on my community tab, what would you like to see for the next video? And most of you guys voted. I added my subscribers pictures. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I actually woke up in a really good mood. I don't know why, but I am super ready for all the editing. I have my snacks. <laughs> rice crackers and hummus and an apple and i have some tea with me uh if you're wondering english breakfast one of my favorite teas i'm wearing this super fluffy sweater to be all cozy uh do you guys do anything specific when you're about to edit a lot of pictures i just usually need to be very comfortable fed and i usually listen to a lot of like techno music to just get me pumped and get me into the rhythm <laughs> so i asked you guys to send me your images to my email and <laughs> so many of you guys sent the submissions that i actually ran out of space on this email address so yeah as you have probably guessed i cannot feature all of you guys that have submitted the images trust me i would love to i think i'm gonna do six or seven images today we'll see how i feel i just chose the ones that kind of spoke to me and the ones that I felt inspired to edit myself. Um, I will be doing more of those videos in the future, so don't get discouraged if your picture didn't get chosen this time. It might happen next time. <laughs> and before we start, I wanted to quickly say a huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is one of the best and newest VPNs out there. It is the VPN that I use myself. And if you are a photographer and you're doing a lot of your work online, I highly, highly recommend that you get a VPN just to increase your security online. Surfshark will block ads, malware. It will protect you when you're logging in, when you're logging in into unknown wireless is when you're traveling which is so important to me because I've been traveling a lot recently not only does it make your experience safe online you can also watch blocked content I live in Canada and there's a lot of content that is blocked here so I just go to my Surfshark and then I change the location usually to US and then I can watch all of the blocked content pretty cool and if you are a fan of Netflix you will definitely like Surfshark because it has the biggest library on Netflix you can surf from eight different countries and access different content on Netflix that might not be available in your country so go ahead and check out Surfshark I will leave their link in the description down below you can use my code Irene to get 83% off so that makes it only $1.99 per month to use Surfshark Again, thank you guys so much for being my sponsor today and let's just get into the video. So here's the first picture and I've been really into editing close-up portraits recently. I used to hate editing skin, but now I can just spend hours working on the skin. Now today is not a tutorial, so I'm not going to be showing you exactly how I do everything. If you want to watch my Photoshop tutorials, I will leave a playlist in the description down below. I'm just going to be mostly speeding this up and just kind of showing you guys the before and afters and comparing them to what the photographers that submitted the pictures added edited their pictures themselves so we can kind of compare the two different visions of different photographers All right, so I just finished the skin retouch and really it took quite a long time. Whoever did the makeup didn't really do a very good job. So there was a lot of things that needed to be corrected and it was pretty hard to make it look quite natural, but I think I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna correct her eyes just a little bit. Everyone has uneven eyes, but I can really see it in this picture because of her makeup as well. Like there's more eyeshadow over here and less here. So I'm gonna correct it just a little bit. Thank you. 
I just finished editing the first image. It took quite a while, but I'm really happy with the results. So this is the original unedited. Here is my version. And this is the version of the photographer who sent out the picture. By the way, everyone's links will be in the description down below. So if you would like to check the work of any of the photographers that I'm featuring in this video, everything will be in the description. All right, let's go to the next one. I decided on this portrait next. The model has absolutely beautiful eyes. So I'm really excited and let's see what we can do with this. I'm done with the second image and I really love the way it turned out. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed that I've been really into adding greens to the image, making it very green, vibrant and kind of contrasting. I love the way the skin looks, the colors, everything. Uh, so let's see the before. This is my edit and this is what the photographer did. A little tip for all of you guys, do not go too crazy with the eye highlight. This is the mistake that the photographer did in this picture. Uh, the model already has very bright eyes, so when you add too much highlight into it, it might look a little bit crazy. And this is the first thing that I see when I look at this image. I see the eyes, but not in a good way. So instead of adding the highlight when the eyes are already really bright and it's looking a little bit too crazy, I would suggest just going into levels or curves and just making the eyes more contrasting altogether. And I'm gonna just decrease the highlight that they did just a little bit. That already looks way, way better. Okay, let's go to the third one. All right, let's do this one next. I'm really excited because I've never edited a picture like this shot at night. So I'm really excited to see what I can do with this. Right, I'm done editing the third picture. So here is the original, here is my edit, and here is the photographer's edit. Let me know which one do you like the best and what you would do differently to this image. I'm really curious to know. And let's maybe do the fourth and the last one. Here's the fourth picture. It is so cute. I love the close-up portrait with the beautiful green eyes and the greenery around her and the freckles. Oh my God, okay, I'm excited to do this one. So I pulled her shoulders down just because when she was laying up, I think her shoulders went high just a little bit too much and i was losing a lot of her neck so by pulling them down i think it makes the picture look a lot more interesting and then i also pulled the hair because it's hiding between everything a little bit too much so this way i think more of the attention goes into the model's eyes rather than filling that space with her bare shoulders i wish that when they photographed this they took this piece of hair right here on the left side and draped it over the shoulder. It would have filled the space even better. Here's the fourth image and I really love how I made her freckles pop and just the combination of green and red or green and orange is such a complimentary, complimentary, 
complementary color combination. I have been just really loving using those two colors in a lot of my portraits recently. I filled up that space on the left and the bottom with a little bit of green and I think it really really helps. If I was to shoot this, again I would do something in that corner just to fill up that space a little bit more so that all of the attention goes only on her eyes. But great job on this image Tina and Let's do a fifth and final edit. This is our fifth and final image. Definitely looks like something that I could have shot. I really, really love this. So let's just get started. So the thing that I'm gonna work on the most is gonna be trying to take out this tree out of the image. This is the thing that bothers me the most and something that I immediately notice. If I shot this, I would have made sure that there is no tree in the background and only beautiful bokeh so that we can focus on the model. I don't know if this is gonna be very successful, but let's see if I can do this. I'll see if the content aware fill is gonna do anything cool. Uh, and then if not, I'm gonna be doing this manually. Oh, yeah, it's uh, not doing it. All right, so I'm gonna try to then take some of this bokeh and kind of paste it onto here. Or I'm gonna try to take some bokeh from my old images and trying to work it into this image. Alright, here we have the last picture. It took me a while to figure out the colors that I wanted this to be because there were so many of them in here. I just decided to go with a very pastel, pink, bright, airy kind of feel to this picture. And so this is the before, the original unedited image. This is my edit and this is the edit of the photographer. Again, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. All right, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn how I edit, you can watch any of my Photoshop tutorials. Again, I will leave a playlist in the description down below. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do more videos like this. I've already done, I think, two, and this is my third one, but I will do more for you guys if you would like me to. And yeah, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!